Now, we all know over the past two years, China has slowed down in terms of its GDP growth as well as luxury consumption. And this has led to several brands looking to other markets across the world for sustaining their global growth. In terms of China's brand sales, Louis Vuitton and Rolex sales in China are already much ahead of those in Japan. So it provides you with a reflection of how far ahead China has become compared to other Asian markets. Now, if we talk about the growth markets in each region, let's start with Western Europe. So, of course, this is the motherland of most of the major luxury brands around the world. So, if you're talking about Italian luxury brands such as Gucci and Prada, they have recently looked to new Western Europe markets such as France and Germany to sustain their regional growth. And this is because they are appealing to the tourist influx in these countries. Moving to Latin America, this is a region which is underdeveloped still in terms of luxury consumption. And here, Brazil and Mexico are expected to see fast growth in terms of luxury brands putting in heavy investment in these markets over the next five years. Tiffany and Louis Vuitton are expected to lead this growth in these markets. Moving east, if we talk about the Middle East, United Arab Emirates is growing to be a regional hub for luxury goods consumption. And we are seeing brands such as Gucci and Tiffany investing in the retail store networks within this market. Now, if we move further east towards the traditional growth driver, Asia, with the Chinese consumption slowing down, we are seeing South Korea as emerging as an emerging market in terms of growth. And several brands such as Bulgari, Tiffany, and Gucci are increasing their store presence within this market when they look for the next five-year growth. Moving further in terms of Asian markets, we are seeing Singapore sales also receiving a good response from, invest from the major luxury goods players. And we are talking about brands such as Hermes and Prada increasing, again, investments within the small market and relying on the tourist influx which comes in from the Asia-Pacific countries around it to sustain the luxury goods growth. And lastly, we are also seeing Australia seeing an increase in investment. So we are seeing brands such as Hermes and Burberry increasing their presence in this special market.